guys, welcome back. Let's play Final Fantasy VIII. Last time we made our way back from outer space. And then Renault got taken away. Let's go get her back. She is currently being held, as we know, in the Sorceress Memorial, which is a place we haven't been to yet. And considering what's about to happen, it only makes sense that Squall's theme plays here. Stop, draw a point if you care. Want to see your comrade off? I'll make an exception. Go ahead. Well, isn't that nice of you? I have a feeling we're not going to do exactly what you thought we were going to do, though. We came here to break her out. This is a restricted area. Kind of an odd line. You'll never know unless you do it. Yeah, well, you already have a pretty good idea that this is what you want to do. Taking Renoa with you, huh? I got backup! What are you guys up to over there? Oh, I can control myself. I know what I'm doing. No? Can't do anything there? Okay. Do I go over this way? I can't remember what I do. <laughs> well, that didn't work. Come on, Squall. Use your head. Aww, isn't it sweet? One of the more iconic FMVs in the entire game. Surprisingly, has no music. You think they'd want to play a powerful uh, emotional theme there, but uh, we got that last time. Uh, there is something else I could mention about Eyes on Me, but I'm going to save that for m a little bit later, just because it'll make more sense later and there's a better opportunity to talk about it. But I do know there, there is one other thing I could mention about. There's probably more than that, but there, there's one more plot related thing I could talk about with eyes on me. But anyway, I don't care. Time to go. We broke her out of prison. That, uh, that didn't work very well, your whole uh, sealing thing to seal off the sorceress. Whoa, big boss guy. I guess we got boss time. What, you don't talk? Hmm? What about him? You you don't say anything. Well, I guess none of these guys say anything. Oh well. I've seen him before. I could say something that would completely ruin things, but I'll leave it alone. Yeah, where's my music? A little embarrassed. You were, huh? I would expect so. Yeah, I wouldn't be embarrassed about that. Happy is good, especially when you're selfie. You get a lot on your mind. You just had a lot on your mind all game long. It's one of the things I actually like about him as a protagonist. He doesn't just seem to be dead set on one thing. Yeah, at the start of disc three, he kind of was dead set on one thing, but throughout the game, he has tended to have a lot on his mind trying to balance all the different things that you would expect someone who's just, you know, as a, a later teenager, you know, late teens, early 20s, you know, they tend to have a lot on their mind and they, they, they think it's like, yeah, I want to get out of school and I want to go do this and I want to get a job. And, and then the old guys of us that are, you know, 10 years past that are going, 
Man, I wish I could go back to that. That was nice. Okay, I'm, I'm just getting old here. <laughs> I just had one of those moments earlier today and I just wanted to share. <laughs> so, as an expert squall observer, he's thinking, what do we do now? Blah, blah. <laughs> Weren't you supposed to be the teacher? <laughs> Shouldn't you be embracing him to think more? Everything tends to turn bad, huh? That's not how that's supposed to go. We should be thinking about what to do. Picture a brighter future. Uh, if we don't do anything about it, we're not going to have much of a future. <laughs> what do we do next? I'm not really sure either. Oh yeah, th that thing's still going on. Yeah, the Galbadians are still there, you know. Uh, the party got kicked out of there and then we just kind of forgot about it for a while. Right, Cypher's probably doing something with this, considering what we heard. Yeah, Ultimacy is puppet at this point. Guess we still have to do something about Ultimacia, too. Hmm. Alright, let's go kick her ass. Even though I don't know how we're going to do that, considering she's a sorceress from the future. We're going to need a really stupid, convoluted plan to make this work, aren't we? The answer is yes. Zell? Where are we going? Oh, the orphanage. We could go talk to Adia. Nothing to see there, huh? Oh, I see. Worried about Ultimacy, Ultimacia taking uh, control of your power again, or... Doing something and you hurting people. Got it. Guess I didn't need to explain that. The game does it for me. There's my music. Oh, I love the music for this. Um, anyway, now that we've done that, they've told us where we're supposed to go. We, uh, as I've... Did I say this before? I can't remember. You press the uh, X button, your main button, on uh, a place. You will automatically go there with our new powerful airship. I think I mentioned that last time. I just edited that episode yesterday. I should remember this. My brain doesn't work. Anyway, considering we're supposed to go somewhere, we're now going to go exactly not there. And we're going to take a quick respite over here and take care of a few uh, minor things. So I'm gonna grab some Ultimas and I'll meet you all the way inside. Okay, a few Ultimas later and they have finished. I believe the trigger for this is uh, it's either disc three or it's uh, getting the Ragnarok, one of the two. Show it to the Elder now. It's good of the Elder to come, but he's not here. Hmm. The Elder is here? I don't know. You're bored. It is most certainly peaceful here, but the, uh, the Elder's not exactly here. Ah, there he is, and the Fisherman too. Wrapped up one thing, huh? Without his help, I don't know if he did anything. All he wants to do is fish. <laughs> Feeling of completion. This tune. This song is... Not playing. There's supposed to be a song here. I'm going to have to look up what this song actually is because uh, I'm, this might be a, a Rose and Wine glitch or something, but they're not playing any song here. I will uh, scan through other Let's Plays and see what song actually plays here for anyone who happened to have done this scene and uh, put in whatever song that happens to be because I have no idea. <laughs> They said it played in FH, so I'm guessing it's the theme from FH, but 
You know more than I do. I'll figure it out in editing. Hmm. Couldn't resist the urge, huh? Important to act on your urge, especially at your age, since they're so rare. Urges are a rare thing at that age. Usually it's nap, bathroom, nap, bathroom, repeat. At least that's how I expect my old age to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, they finished the statue. It took them most of the game to do it, but, uh, yeah. Well, you're not going to do anything else. All right, you brought this up. Now, obviously, in order to get the good ending to this quest, I believe you need to have actually done the Master Fisherman quest from before. Uh, I could be wrong, but I would assume that you need to. Some other time. So they're just going to let that sit there and not do anything with it. Okay, that's fine. No big deal. What about you? You want to speak with the attendant in private, huh? Interesting. Even the, uh, the sound effects have cut out. Seventeen long years ago. That's... I'm assuming they're talking about Laguna, and that does sound like Laguna. Just barging in out of nowhere because, you know, Laguna. Thought he was a bandit, huh? Strong eyes told it all. What do you want to do now? Nothing but trouble, huh? Oh, I see. So he was kind of using, you know, working on the statue somehow to, you know, get his heart to be set on becoming an elder. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but uh, sure. If you say so. Seventeen years ago. Heart and soul of our village. Just as you imagined it. It's a place you'd never seen before. I have a feeling you might not have thought it even existed. <laughs> anyway. In traditional Laguna fashion, he just thanks people. and He's nice about it. You learn any words yet? Laguna. That's, that's their word. The outside world is amazing, huh? This place is pretty damn cool, too. Well, you guys are all kind of set in your own way. I don't think you're troubling him. I think he's just thinking. He might be at it for a while. They might be referring to Nord there, I'm not sure. Must abide by your fate, huh? You want me to stop them, huh? Apparently even the Laguna can read their, uh... I guess their eyes, or their expression, or whatever. <laughs> I 
Can't we all just get along? Well, it's not working. You're gonna go with plan B, huh? What's plan B? <laughs> That's one reaction to things. He's completely out of left field. He managed to convince him to stop arguing for five seconds, so that's, I guess, a good thing. Most important, heart. Heart of the cards, you know, the uh, the power of heart with the other four elements, you know, those types of things. Heart brings people together, huh? It does indeed, Laguna. Ah, oh, so I guess the uh, sculptor was recording this, and that's kind of what we're seeing. Could be wrong. Big smiles, hurry up. <laughs> Pendant had fun. Got time before your evolution. Apparently, they're, uh, there's like a set age or time or experience level or something. I don't know. Shouldn't have those thoughts. Oh, okay. Don't remind you. <laughs> now, I really appreciate this. There's not much to the scene, you know, or, well, like, to the quest in terms of what you actually do, but you get some nice, uh, you know, some, some nice character development for these complete NPCs. Show them that we've changed to see Laguna again. Hmm. They seem to have evolved in a little bit uh, on their own anyway, without, you know, physically evolving. Their, uh, their race, or at least this town, seems to have evolved a little bit anyway. Anyway, what else do we have? Uh, we have cutscene, we have boss fight. I could show off one thing here real quick before we, uh, before we call it a day. Any more Ultimas in the meantime? Probably not. Eh. Er, not like I need the money for anything. I think she could only draw four and I didn't expect her to get any more, which maxes out two characters on Ultima spells. It is very nice. And this is just, like, I haven't really been grinding it, but every time I go to do something, I just go and check out here first and grab some Ultima spells. So yeah, I got enough Ultimas to get 100 for Selfie, and 100 for... where are they? And 100 for Quissus. So we just need to get some for Squall now. Well, we can do that too. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now, but uh, one thing I am going to do right now is I'm going to demonstrate the final level of the uh, infinite money glitch that I went over earlier. Uh, one other thing of note, I forgot to mention this when we got him, but uh, Doom Train comes with Junk Shop pre-learned, which is basically called Junk Shop. As you can see from the menu here, you can check out your weapons at any time and upgrade them at whim. So that's very nice. You can also do call shop, and that's the wrong one. Actually, no, that's the right one. What am I doing? Uh, okay, that's the wrong one. Never mind. Uh, let's get out of here. Uh, there is one other shop. We gotta find out where the other shop is. I can't remember where it is off the top of my head. Uh, is it this one? Okay. We are back. I'm in a different spot, as the name implies. I'm in SR. 
guess I missed this last time I was here. Um, this I'll show which shop this is in a moment, but most importantly, this is the SR shop with four, three, I can count, explanation marks. Um, this one in particular is somewhat important here, as at this one you can buy both tents and cottages, which is what you need for this, uh, you know, uh, money cheap thing to work. You can also buy Mega Potions if you want, Mega Phoenixes, Elixirs if you care. Um, we can max out our Elixirs and Mega Potions relatively easy, as same with X Potions, so don't worry about those at all. Uh, but anyway, the idea here is you max out tents, you max out cottages. This works best. Uh, by the way, the uh, store that that is is Johnny Shop here. Um, for whatever reason that I never got in here and I forgot to do anything with it when I was originally here. We will be coming back to SR at a later point. Um, I'll go and talk about that more when we actually are coming back here. But now that we've got it uh, on our call shop list, it'll be the one on the second page here. So you go there, you buy those, you come back in here, you go into Life Magic Refine. Uh, no. What am I doing here? We go into, where is it? Recovery medicine, there we go. We get those all to go into mega potions and then we go and we back to any shop and we sell the mega potions. On, sell all the mega potions. So Let's just do this from start to finish to see how much money we spend versus how much we get out of it. So we got 75,000 and 135,000 and we got 750,000 out of it when we were done. So let's uh, do those and those. Uh, we, uh, we had a few more. Let's see here. What do we get? So we got 562,000 and we spent maybe like what, 210,000? So it's more than double uh, two to one how much you get out of it. It's ridiculous how much money you get from this. As you can see, I already have 2 million uh, gil and I don't need money for anything. So there's not really a whole lot of purpose in doing this, but you can if you want. It's uh, the ultimate way of getting money in the game as far as I'm aware. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the time we have for today. Next time, we are going to head over to Adia's house as they recommended. But first, we have to make a little pit stop on an island. All for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.